Welcome back to The Walking Dead. So when we left off, we were about to see what Clementine found. I think I might know what it is. So let's continue. Let's see. I think I know. Yeah, I knew it. A boat. I would like, eat her alive. In a good way. This was here the whole time? I know, right? I KR. Look what we found, Kenny. Now he's happy. His prayers have been answered. That would be like the best thing ever. Omid's doing okay? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. I did what I could for him. Cleaned out the wound, but he's got a real infection. Running a fever. Without antibiotics, I... Will you quit pacing? You're making everyone nervous. Why are you even still here? Hey, if your friend really can get that boat working, you're taking me with you as payment for saving your asses. I figure that's fair enough, don't you? Oh, can he? Well? You want the good news or the bad news? I think we could all use some good news. Good news is, the boat's seaworthy enough. In pretty good shape, mostly. Mostly? That's the bad news. Gas tank's empty and her battery's dead. We need to fix both before she's taken us well, in. Well, that's not too hard. Well, how are we supposed to be gas get everywhere. that stuff? Sounds like Crawford is the one place that has everything we need. Maybe we should try there. But murder no, everyone inside. Surely we have to try? If there are people left in this city who are still alive, who still have supplies, what harm can it do to ask? Trust me, you don't know these people. I do. You showing up with a wounded man, might as well put a noose around his neck. They don't exactly welcome children with open arms either. What the hell kind of a place are we talking about here? The worst kind? But I don't see what other choice we have. And just how exactly do you figure we do this? Kill everyone. Because from what I've heard, that place ain't exactly friendly to outsiders. There's got to be some way we can sneak in there undetected. The sewer. There might actually be a way. I know the sewer system that runs beneath Crawford like the back of my hand. Y'all wouldn't happen to have a map by any chance. Yeah, uh, actually. Yeah. I have it. I think I could lead us through so we could pass under the perimeter and right into the center where they keep their supplies. Aren't his we come up right underneath them, take them by surprise, grab what we need, and get out before they even knew what hit them. That's actually not the worst idea I've ever heard. I mean, it's close, but I don't know. Maybe it could work. I've it's thought, thought about it before, just never had the people to do it. But I think if we all work together, we could pull it off. And what do you want in return for all this help you're giving us? Crawford doesn't just have what you need for your boat. They're also well stocked with medical supplies. Medicine that my people could use, just as yours could. We can do this. We have to. So, it's decided then? We're going to Crawford? Anyone else have a problem with this plan? Because we're gonna need every one of us to pull this off. What about Man, I don't know. I don't know about you, kid, but I'd rather take a chance on doing something than just sitting around here waiting to die. That boat out there is an answered prayer. Just gotta push a little bit farther. Didn't I already say, like, these in prayers have an answer? Right. Oh, yeah, this episode. Come on. We should go tonight, under cover of dark. I'll go let my people know. Give you all a chance to prepare. I'll be back before midnight. Be careful. Good. That's how I'm still alive. I told you to stay in your room. How long have you been there? Is it going to be dangerous? Is what going to be dangerous? Nothing. Crawford. Ah. 
I can't lie to you, Clem. I just don't know. I don't want anyone else to die. Don't worry, I'll kill everyone before they kill me. I, I can't do I, Clem. Sometimes we have to take that kind of risk. So you're gonna be our sacrifice, okay? I guess I should go get ready. Uh, <laughs> say what now? You said you'd need all of us to do this, and you said I'm a big help, remember? Molly said Crawford is the only place left in Savannah that still has people. That means it must be where my mom and dad are, right? Where I'm going, it's just too dangerous. For children especially. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. Oh, I, I do want to bring her. I'm just trying to figure out the best way. Can't I come with you? Yes, yes. Okay. You can there tell. we go. But you have to promise to stay quiet and do exactly what you're told the I whole time. I don't want to tell that aren't okay. there. Okay, I'm going to go get ready. Okay. Oh, like three or four of my teeth on like upper right side of my mouth are loose and they're like adult teeth so they're not supposed to be and it's getting really annoying like they will like go back to normal eventually and stiffen but for now they're just really annoying so if I have something stuck in my teeth and I try to get my use my tongue to get it out it'll like jiggle my teeth more check out what I found in the garage hatchet hacksaw some other tools might come in handy on this little break. I want the hatchet. Nice. Can I talk to you a minute? Sure. What's up? I took another look at the boat. She's a 30-footer. So? So? So, we're gonna have a capacity problem. Boat that size ain't gonna hold more than five people. Even with one of them a kid. Me, you, Clem, Krista, Omi, Ben, Molly. Assuming everyone makes it back alive, that's still one too many. Even if we cut Molly loose. Before this is over, we're gonna have to make a decision. You're not serious. We can Look, totally. Saying, we can we totally fit one child. Who the hell is this? This is Bree. She can help us. Help us how? I was a student at the school where Crawford keeps their supplies. I know the layout. With her help, we're in and out faster. Anyone have a problem with that? I guess not. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get moving. We, they, that's so stupid, Kenny. Like, geez, Clementine can't be more than like... She's eight, so like... Hold up just a sec. She can't be more than like 50, 60 pounds. Hey, whoa, hold on a minute. You're not taking her with us. Did you not hear anything I said about the kind of place Crawford is? If you take her in there and they find her... I'm not leaving her alone in the house with only Omi to protect her? It's just not happening. For what it's worth, I don't think it's a great idea either. She's coming. Deal with it. You heard the man. Let's move out. Oh, I'm the man. Oh yes, I get the hatchet. Thanks, Ben. Loading. This should be it. We're right underneath the center of Crawford. The old school should be directly above us. Okay, people. This is it. Remember the plan. We stay quiet, we stay hidden, and we stay together. We find what we need, and we get the hell out before anyone even knows we're there. Got it? And that part about staying close, that goes double for you. Yeah, Clementine, gotta stay close. Can't just be running off willy nilly. Wow, he must be strong to just push a manhole off. Let's go. Like without even any. Actually, it might be easier from underneath. I'm not sure. But he did it with one hand. He must be ripped. Well, kind of seems like you would be actually. There should be guards patrolling. What? Are you disappointed? It's just strange, is all. I think I see one over there by the door. No. Walker. Okay. Me and Kenny will sneak out, try to take him out quiet. The rest of you wait for our signal, then follow us over. Everybody got it? Okay, Kenny, let's do this quiet. No shooting unless there's no other choice. Right behind you. 
of shooting. Pulls out his rifle. Okay. Did I not notice he's a walker? What the fuck? Oh man. Okay, so everyone in this place is dead, I guess. Yeah, everyone in this place is definitely dead. What the fuck is a walker doing inside here? Get inside, fast! Come on, get inside. Not bad, it's really tiny arms. Bam. Oh no, I'm not gonna pause there. Holy oh, crap, getting a lot of achievements. I've gotten like three or four in the last two episodes. Including this one. Fuck! Fuck! Do you think they saw us? Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. I love how it had my answer. Aw, Clementine, I'm sorry. What the hell happened here? I thought this place was supposed to be secure. What always happens, I guess. In the end, the dead always win. Oh man, you're so screwed. No, this is good. Vernon's right. We can deal with walkers easier than our guards. I agree. So long as we don't let them box us in, we can still do this. The plan hasn't changed. The plan hasn't changed? Every time walkers show up, the plan changes. Do you even have any idea how many of them are out there? No. You want to do a head count? Or do you want to get what we need and get the hell out of here? I'll do a head count. Come on, I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. He kind of reminds me of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo. Don't know why. Yes, and there's dead people in there. Just keep moving. Ooh, this looks like the door Here. you're going to. Looks okay. Everybody in. I'm going to pause here. Yeah, looks like a good place to leave off. Okay, well, uh, that was very fun, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.